Hey y'all, it's your favorite on. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below to Nightcap YouTube channel so you never miss a single live stream or video of myself, Ocho, and Gil. Remember, Nightcap doesn't happen without you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thank you. Melo said the Nuggets gave Nikola Jokic the number 15 jersey to try to e erase what he did. Melo called giving Nikola Jokic jersey the same number he wore in Denver is a, is a petty maneuver. It wasn't like, oh, we got a number to choose from. It was like, here, you got 15. Uh, Melo, yeah, let me take this first. Melo, you do realize this guy was a, a second round European player that when he got drafted, they was in the middle of a Taco Bell commercial. <laughs> so you, re you really thought, who thought Nikola Jokic was going to arguably be one of the uh, top 10 player when it's all said and done? Because they thought that, that he took him number one overall. Exactly. The guy was in the second round. Mm -hmm. And plus, Melo, you forget, you forced your way out. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, you forced your way out of relationship, and I don't hold you in high regard. Please forgive me. No, no, dead ass, right? He was a second round pick. Nobody knew he was going to no. be. It was. The, I remember when um announcer said, uh, "I don't know if he was playing against Houston." Oh, they'll put anybody in the game when he was posting up. Yeah, right. So they didn't know what he was going to be. He no, turned into this. Unfortunately, he had the same number you had. And nobody's going to remember you wore 15. I'm sorry, Melo, but nobody's going to remember you wore 15. He He's known more, and this is so, I don't want to say it, but you're a Nick player. Thank you. You're a Nick player. Your career is New York Knicks. Yes. Right? Like, we know what you did as a, as a rookie coming in, but mm -hmm. four-time All-Star, one-time gold medalist, three-time All-NBA. As a Nick Six-time All-Star, two gold medalists, three All-NBA, one scoring champ. Your jersey is in the rafters in the garden. Yes. Take that. And that's just it. You know, I, yeah. mean, I know it, it hurts because that's who drafted you. But your numbers ain't there in the, the bigger picture. But, but uh, the fact that they have... Number 12 and 55 retired, which is Fat Lever. Uh-huh. And then the Cookie Dan Monster. Isle. And then the Cookie Monster, Montumbo. The fact that they got those two up there, you oh. got to you gotta retire my jersey. Yeah. Oh, they don't got I thought they would have Dan Issel, the Iron Horse. No, they, they got them, but they earned theirs. Yes. <laughs> you know, Alex English earned his. I'm Fat Lever. Come on. You yeah, the you fat was the triple double before before Russ. Yeah, you wasn't better than goddamn uh Mello and Matumbo Stop. No. Mel, I mean, come on, man. M Matumbo been all over the place. He was in Philly. He was in Atlanta. He was at Houston. So, I mean, it's not like he's, like, known for the Nuggets. No. Like, so, you know, the fact that you have his jersey retired, you know, I will I will feel some type of way. But, you know, I, I as a player, didn't – I didn't do that much there to, to, to really have a problem when I know my body of work is in New York. Yeah. I mean, it's not like – Mello, you had like a Tom Brady career, and then all of a sudden they give somebody 12. Mm -hmm. They gave a guy, they gave a backup. I mean, he was a second round pick. The guy got drafted in the middle of a Taco Bell commercial. <laughs> Nobody could have foretold that he would be this. Hey, Nobody. Hey, hey, uh, you can't say that. Uh, that's even worse. <laughs> you, hey, <laughs> you can't give my number to the dude in the second round. <laughs> Bro. You can't give you my number to the second round pick, Huck. But here's the thing, Gil. The <laughs> fact of the matter is, is that the guy turned out and people won't remember him. Mm -hmm. But my thing is, they don't. it doesn't matter who they put in 84. The people in Denver are going to remember I wore number 84. Mm -hmm. People are going to say that's Shannon Sharp's number. Mm -hmm. Now, they mess around and let's just say that was Gronk or, or Travis Kelsey. People are like, man, I don't remember who wore that damn 84 before Gronk or Kelsey got it. That's uh -huh. just the way it is. Yeah, That's just the way it is. But when you take a basketball player, okay, it's more likely a guy in the second round in, in the NFL makes it or plays well because we've seen a lot of those. It's not likely that a second round NBA player is going to have the type of career that Nikola Jokic has had. No, no, they, they, they're right. It's not. I mean, it wasn't expected. They probably didn't. They, I mean, they, they didn't. They didn't foresee this, man. And it, it's just one of those things that happened, right? You know. Um, but at the end of the day, you don't, you don't, you don't have the resume. I mean, if you had the Knicks resume over there, right. You know, then we can talk. But your your his legacy is a New York Nick. Yes, it, it, it is what it is. And the guys, a, the guys, a NBA, a two time back to back MVP. He's a Finals MVP. 
Mm. And when it's all said and done, we're gonna see where we're gonna see where it ranks. Yeah, I mean, right now he's gonna be ranked one in that franchise. Oh, for sure. That's easy. That's done. That's done. That's now. He ain't got play. He ain't got play another down. He ain't got excuse me another game. That's mm. it for him. Yeah, two MVPs. A, a, a finals MVP and the numbers that he's putting up. A, the dude has a, what, 112, 113 triple doubles? Yep. And he's less than, what, 10 years in the league? Maybe 10 years. Nah, no, he I, was I, drafted in 2015, so eight years. Yeah. I, I'm sorry, Melo. And I know, I, look, <laughs> when a guy wears your number, you're like, oh, man, this joker ain't worthy of having my number. You know he's more than worthy. Yes. And what's going to happen is that people in Denver will have forgotten that you actually wore that number. I mean, the black people remember, you know, it's just, it's the, <laughs> the black people remember. Man, the way the, the black, numbers that the but, I mean, it's just one up. of those things. You, you like my Jersey, um, finally got used this year, you know, lottery pick. Yeah. Um, will he do the things I did? I hope not. But if he do that, yeah, okay, you, you hope it, I hope he don't, <laughs> but you know, uh, the fact that, you know, that I, I thought my jersey was being hidden for, you know, um, you know, the frowned upon. Right. You know, so the fact that they let someone wear it, 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 it kind of makes me proud. Like, okay, finally, shit. I yeah. thought I just burned a zero out of the archives. Yeah, <laughs> I have my, um, my number at Savannah State retired. And mm -hmm. even before it got retired, my coach, Bill Davis, said, nobody, as long as I'm the head coach, ain't nobody wearing that number. Because nobody had ever had their jersey retired. Mm. And um I think in 2009 is when they finally retired, retired it. But from eight from when I left in 89, nobody had even wore it from 89 to 2009. So 20 seasons, nobody even had that jersey. Now can't no one wear it unless I unless Savannah State and I, we both have to give consent <laughs> to let somebody wear it. And uh I know <laughs> my th my thing is why would you want to? Mm -hmm. A three time All American. A conference player of the year, uh, offensive player of the year three times, Georgia's player of the year. Why would you want number two? You won't. You don't. Nobody's nobody's dumb. Nobody want nobody wants that pressure, man. <laughs> you, wants that you, know, pressure. you know what's happening.